A ribbon-cutting ceremony marked the opening of yet another state-of-the-art multi-purpose residential building to grace the Melrose Commons community. El Jardín de Celine, however, stands out. Located on 158th Street and Melrose Avenue, the 12-story complex with 84 rental units is sustainable and environmentally friendly, earning it the highly sought-after LEED Gold Rating Award to buildings using strict green guidelines by the United States Green Building Council. For Yolanda Gonzalez, Chief Executive Officer of Nos Quedamos, this project is a continuation of the work of her late mother, Yolanda Garcia, who founded Nos Quedamos. While the focus was once on rebuilding and urban renewal, it's expanded to include the use of environmentally safe material. One of the things that we pride ourselves in is that um, mi casa es su casa. It means that we're all a great big family and we want to ensure affordable rent where they don't have to stress out how they're going to divide their money in order to pay for medication or for rental or for phone or for utilities because part of the stuff that we've done is since we have so much light in the apartments that you don't need to turn on the lights during the day. So the economy of skills is really beneficial for the tenants who are going to reside here. From solar panels on the building's top floor to energy efficient units within the complex, a rooftop garden, and even an open terrace located on the second floor. The building goes above and beyond to make sure those living within get all the offerings a modern structure should provide. So we had always envisioned a tiled lobby because we wanted to go with the Art Deco feel for the, you know, to bring back this rich cultural heritage of the Bronx. And so you know, we had the tile, and then as we were going through the project, we realized that we could really design something fantastic here. There are a certain series of classical references, and a classical building has three main facade components, a base, a middle, and a top. The base, and you can see that strong horizontal banding at the top of the second floor windows, which is kind of in a person's field of vision as they walk down the street. And then we have the middle ground, which is where the bulk of the building, that as many objects just occupies the New York skyline. And then when you look at the top of the building with its decorative stone pieces and its coping lines, establishes it against the sky. Creating an energy efficient building is a growing trend here in Melrose and throughout the Bronx. El Jardín de Celine is by far the newest. Builders here say there will be more to come. For BronxNet, this is Arlene McCoco.